So these are all normal volcanoes. Triangular fashion, magma chamber, erupt, bang. Lake Atitlan is a super volcano. It's a great name, come up with some some scientist who was obviously really cool thought up, let's call it a super volcano. Uh, <coughs> the way in which that works is that the magma chamber, can we go to the next slide? Right, here we go. Uh, so here we've got a map, a geological map of Lake Atalan. I'm sorry it's not very clear, it was a scan of a photocopy, I believe. So you've got the lake here. The magma chamber under Atalan was so big and so enormous that when the lava got erupted out of it, the land above was totally unsupported because the hole was so big and collapsed into that hole. So when Atalan went off 85,000 years ago, it formed a hole this big all the way around. What we can see of it now, if we look out towards San Marcos, like we're here on San Pedro Volcano, looking out this way, all of the cliffs coming around this way, all the way around to Panajachel, around this way down to, to, to San Lucas down that way? San Antonio. San Antonio. All down that side. That's all where this, the land above collapsed in one go and just slid down. So we've now got 600 meter high cliffs all the way around. That was 85,000 years ago that happened. In the last 85,000 years, three volcanoes have grown up. San Pedro, Toliman Volcano here, and Atitlan Volcano here on the edge. You can't think of Atitlan as a massive triangular normal volcano that blew its top. Essentially, it was this huge magma chamber. The magma chamber was this big. It was actually feeding three volcanoes prior to the lake being there. There were three like there are now called um, Pakisis, which was just here, San Marcos just there, and Tecolote Volcano there. They got totally obliterated when the eruption of the Lake Atalan happened. And we know they were there because in the deposits all the way around uh, Guatemala, there's bits of those rock fragments. Each normal volcano has got its own chemical signature. They're all slightly different. The ratios of iron and magnesium and all sorts are distinct to each different volcano. And we know that there were three volcanoes here before the lake because in the deposits there are bits of rock which don't match any volcanoes that we have now. And then at these points here as well, there's, there's slight evidence for, for an actual vent at this point that's solidified. And, oh look, this is actually the vent that we're looking at now. If we go to the next slide, to put these in, right, actually if we can go back, sorry. This line here is a cross section. So it's cutting through Atitlan Volcano, Toliman, Cerro de Oro, the lake and then the other side. So the next slide is a cut through that. Looking this way. So here we've got Atitlan Volcano, the double peak of Toliman, Cerro de Oro is just here, and that's the lake and then the other side. So these normal volcanoes that we've got now that have grown up in the last 85,000 years have got their own distinct magma chambers. San Pedro was the first one about 70,000 years ago. Then the next one to go up was Toliman that started about 40,000 years ago up till fairly recently, within the last few thousand years, it was erupting. And then Atitlan grew up in the last 10,000 years, and is still, it's not active, but it's dormant, it's definitely not dead. Atitlan volcano has actually erupted five times since the Spanish got here. 